So here's a story I wanted to, sh to share with you. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, um, I was looking at YouTube videos on hell, the topic of hell. People sharing their testimonies and talking about the subject of how it was. And I prayed, I prayed to God that he would show me this place. He would show me what it's, what it's about. So, surely enough, I went to sleep and um, I was shown... I, I was brought there, I was shown. So I was outside of the entrance of hell, and I wasn't by myself, I was with someone else, wearing a white robe, pierced hands, and in his hands, his he, he had uh, a key, uh, keys, a, a ring of keys, and uh, he, he was, he, his hands were uh, strong hands, you know, a carpenter's hands, he, you could see. I, I couldn't see his face. I could only see from um, the neck down. But I was I was holding his hand because I was very afraid. There I was outside of the gates of hell. And there were very big gates. Metallic gates. And, on the, uh, and surrounding surrounding the gate was uh, rock. It was, uh, it was a red sky and... Uh, it was dark. It was a dark red, dark red sky, red red rock, and um, on the gates, the big, two very large, big um, gates. On each on each gate were uh, pentagrams uh, on it, and um, there was uh, on the surface and on the gate there was uh, a face. Uh, a, a demonic face with horns, uh, red. He was red, and um, and uh, there was a. It was it was an energetic face. It was energetic, and th in the horns, in between the horns, there was like some kind of red uh, electric uh, current going from one horn to the next. Like it was er uh, electric, and above above of the gates, it was written. All ye who enters here, abandon all hope. That's what was written. And uh, I was scared. I was very scared. And I was holding on tightly to uh, Jesus' hand. I was holding on tightly because it's very frightening. And as I was stepping closer, I didn't want, I didn't want, I didn't want to go any closer, I didn't want, like, I felt the fear of being dragged inside as I stepped closer, so uh, I went through the gate, now I went through the gate, and once inside, I was inside the entrance of hell, and I was so um, amazed, I was so amazed of the vastness, the vastness of of this place, it was very vast, and I had a knowing, I had a knowing that it went much, much deeper, it was very much, very large, very large, very large, incomprehensibly large, and I, I, I got distracted by how, uh, by how, uh, how how in awe I was, and I noticed that I was alone, and the the gates started closing on me. And now I was inside alone in a huge ring. I was in a I, it was an in, as 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 large as it was. It was in, enclosed, and out, out out the outside of the enclosure was um like a audi uh, auditory, like where audience could look. And this audience was God's people angels to, to and Jesus and God himself to 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 see to to view to witness the the torment that 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 was happening in there and uh, I was alone I was alone inside the closed gates and I had this knowledge I had this knowing this knowing that um, there was no hope there was no hope and that it was forever once the one those gates closed shut, it was forever. It was for eternity. 
and I was I was I was struck with fear and the only thing I could do the only thing I could do was cry out to Jesus to cry out to Jesus to so I, in my dream I vision I looked up and I cried Jesus Jesus and uh, surely enough a hand went a hand with white robes went down from the sky and pulled me out of the, the pit, the depths, and I woke up in my bed, and, <laughs> and uh, when I woke up, I was shocked, I was very shocked, I was uh, in awe, I was shocked, I was shook, shook, for two days, for two days I was shook, yeah, for that dream, and uh, I'm sharing this message because uh, uh, that, uh, to say that uh, you don't you don't want to die unforgiven in this world you don't want to die unforgiven you don't want the wrath of God pour poured on you once you pass and uh, to forgive others as well in the, in the, to, it's important to forgive others just as he has forgiven you and um, uh, I believe this is an important message now more than ever because um, this is the new age, the new age, the, the end of the age, and uh, the net is closing in on us. You know, the net is closing in on us, and uh, we need to get ready to face judgment, our judgment. And, uh, Yeah. <laughs>